Hello, my friends. It's Miss Stern, and I'm so glad you joined me for this story. It's called Mary Wears What She Wants. Who chooses your outfits for the day? Did you know that not too many years ago, women, little girls, didn't wear pants. They had to wear skirts. Can you imagine? It was against the law. This is a true story about a doctor named Mary, and she actually got arrested for wearing pants. Well, let's find out what happens and think about if you're a girl, do you like to wear pants or skirts? And boys, do you like to wear shorts or pants? Think about what you like to wear as you're reading this story and think about if somebody told you you couldn't. So are you ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, but not too long ago, girls weren't allowed to wear pants. Can you imagine? The only thing girls could wear were uncomfortable dresses. Heavy and hot and hard to breathe in dresses. Tied too tight and can't bend over dresses. It's the way things have always been and the way things will always be, they said, and no one thought it should be any different. Actually, that last part's not entirely true. Mary thought it should be different and she had an idea. What do you think her idea is? What would you have done if you were living back then? A very daring idea. A great idea. Mary liked it so much, she went into town to show everyone. What do you think they'll say? It was kind of a big deal. And not everyone liked it. You're going to regret wearing pants, Mary Walker, they all said. No, I won't, Mary said back. But she kind of did. Mary didn't understand why everyone cared so much about what she wore. They've never seen a girl wearing pants before, said her father. Sometimes people get scared of what they don't understand. So I should go back to wearing dresses, asked Mary. I didn't say that, said her dad. That night, Mary didn't get a wink of sleep. What do you think she's thinking about doing? The next morning, Mary decided she didn't like being told what to wear. Pants were just plain better in all sorts of ways. As she left for school, she discovered she could, she could walk faster in pants. Which Mary really appreciated. What's your favorite thing to wear to school? But when Mary got to school, it was more of the same. She started to worry this was how things were going to be from now on. I wonder why people were so upset. I'd like to go to school, please, said Mary. 
But you're wearing boys' clothes, they all said. I'm not wearing boys' clothes, said Mary. I'm wearing my clothes. Now, if you'll excuse me, please, I'm late for school. What does that expression on her face tell you about her? <laughs> and with that, she pushed through the door and went inside, prepared for even more of the same. Except it wasn't the same at all. Oh, I wonder what that means. And it was never the same again. Oh, what happened here? Look at all these other girls. Now here's a picture at the back of the book of the real Mary. Her name was Mary Edwards Walker. And she was born in Oswego, New York in 18. 32. So not only was she one of the first, she was the first woman to wear pants, she also got arrested several times for doing it. And then she graduated from medical school to be a doctor at the time when women mostly didn't do that. And then she joined the army and was a surgeon in the Civil War. So all her life, she worked for women's rights, and she was a teacher, a surgeon, a war hero, and a writer. So that was pretty interesting. So that was a pretty interesting story. It was fun, wasn't it? After reading, maybe you could have some fun drawing some pictures of what you like to wear and maybe make yourself a whole new wardrobe on paper. So until next time, my friends, happy reading.